Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some of the things I used to journal and actually I have been hauling around this bag. It's a bomb Kuhin bag and uh, I thought we could just kind of go through it together. So let's do face down so you could see inside the bag and all the contents. Okay, so this is what I've been hauling around with me for the past couple weeks. I will take it from my office into my bedroom, into the living room, and I've talked about this bag before. This is the Bam Kuhin, um like travel tote bag uh, that is actually made by Superior Labor. And there's a couple colors now. This is in the brown and it has served me well and continues to serve me really well. So first things first, I have a Superior Labor bag that is open and jam-packed with a lot of items. We can go through that a little bit later. Let's just take everything out. So of course, I have my uh, Galen Leather six pen slot case oh look and some of my pens are not here because they are somewhere else in this bag <laughs> um but yes yeah, so this is the honey ochre color um not the undyed but it dev it definitely has some patina as you could tell i have i've thrown in recently my foam nemo um, which is a printer for pictures or even like written words and it is a um, an ink printer I forgot what you call it the zinc printer however it is it does last for a long time but I have noticed that the images on this printer aren't as perfect it this is the black and white one so it's not the color I have a writer writing board. I have my traveler's notebook in camel and this was my very first traveler's notebook and I have my um, like sticker book in here that I made. It's just one insert. It's really chunky and it has all of my like stickers and everything. So I've been trying to use my stickers more often and I do haul this around to kind of help me get through all these stickers. Next is my A5 Thinking of You planner and this is in the pink cover from Sojourner and it's a really soft, um, flexible, really thin leather but the color is so pretty. It's not showing up right it's a little bit deeper in pink than what you see here and um i have that and then my writing board in this one so i'm gonna try to stack everything in this frame as we get through it i have my hobonichi weeks and this is the one i've been using the most uh, i did get two at the beginning of the year because i thought i would use one mainly mainly for me and the other one for my kids but everything has just been stuffed into this one and this is a mega so i do have a lot of pages in the back to you so i find that this one has been the most useful for me i have a kaweco tin case and here is where i store all my little bits and bobs of ephemera pieces that i've already either cut out or i just kind of stuck in here because they're just the extra little uh, pieces that I haven't yet used. Sometimes when I have a full roll of ephemera or of PET tape, I will only want like one image. And so I end up cutting the whole strip. And sometimes when I do that, I will go in and cut every image out and then just put it in one of these tin cases, which makes it a lot easier for me to haul around and use. So um, I find I, uh, really like the little cases I get when I do order other things, for instance, fountain pens, and I try to reuse them. Okay, what's next? Field notes. Um, this was the dime, yeah, dime novel edition I got like five or six years ago and another sticker book. 
So I, it, I know it's, it's like a waste. I shouldn't have used it for stickers by the time I wasn't thinking right. And I ended up just sticking my stickers in here. And I, um, I stuck the pages in here, uh, with sticker tape. So it's not going to really be usable, uh, by the time I get through all these stickers. But again, so I haul it around to try to use it as much as, uh, as possible. So I kind of stuffed these in here. These were part of my recent order <clears throat> with Toku Bets to Memory. And she always uh, gives you a bunch of little bits and bobs of like sticky notes, really cute sticky notes. And um, she writes a note for you here. And oh, this is a postcard from Cara Avarello. I was part of her Patreon. Um, and then she provides like little stickers. And then this was also from a, a recent order with Yoseka. It's the um, uh, Ling Ching, Ling Ching, uh, I forgot the name, uh, sticker pack that I showed in one of my latest videos. So I kind of just took all these and tossed them in there, but they will eventually get a home either in my sticker books or in my Traveler's Company sticker insert. Let's set that there. <clears throat> okay, so one day, the story behind this is that I saw um, uh, she's on Instagram and she sells, um, oh, Sky Bambi. And she had this and it looked like a moleskin. I mean, it is made by moleskin or moleskine. And it is the little, like, what do you call this? File folder? Accordion thing? <laughs> And I thought that was the neatest thing. It took me forever. I was uh, scavenging like um, all the, the websites like Moleskin, which they didn't have it on there that I could find, but also Amazon. And I finally found it. It was hidden deep in the Amazon. Um, so I just put a bunch of little stickers in there. I have so many stickers. Um, okay. So here's a pen which should not be, uh, it shouldn't have been thrown in there because this is quite a pricey pen, but it's in there and I need to put it in its, um, back in its home. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have a Galen leather, um, sleeve, pen sleeve. And this one has, oh yes, my Laban. And I think this pen is the one I needed to clean out because... This one tends to dry out really quickly. I'm not quite sure why I do screw the cap on. Um, I wonder if like air is seeping in at the top of the finial here somehow, some way, um, causing the nib to, to dry out because I don't think that there is an insert. There's no insert in here to keep the nib wet. So literally I will ink it up and then a week later the ink is like dried out. Okay, so this is a leather pouch from, um, it's the postal pouch from Sojourner. And I think this was in the Getty leather. It's really soft uh, and smooth. Um, I got this at least three to four years ago. And at the time it was, uh, I mean, it's well made, but I'm not quite sure if it's really, um, the best construction because it's just, it, it's a simple pouch, but you can see how it can get really like, <laughs> like this part of it is not as, um, closed as it was when I first got it. But that's just also probably just from use and the leather softening up and it's such beautiful leather. So, and then it has stretched because of all the things I put in there. So there's that, but um, I'm pretty sure if you were to get a different leather pouch and a different um, leather material, which she has so many different, she offers a lot of leathers, there probably would be a better leather for this design than the one I chose. And um, it, it would definitely be one of their more stiffer leathers than the like the really soft, flexible one. So here, I just have a bunch of extra stickers and bits and bobs that I get from orders. Like these came from Toku Bets and Memory and I still have to use them. And just like 
um, but like a glassine bag and things I like to reuse. So I just stick it in there for when I want to journal and find something different. Okay. And I have another tin case. Actually, I bought this one for the tin case and I think it came with some stickers. So I um, put all my stickers in here and then the stickers from my shop is uh, also fit. The pocket size stickers would fit. So I put those in there. And then I have, again, some more bits and bobs and stickers from when I had my Patreon. Um, I just store them in there. And some of those other like sticker little box sets that you can get, um, I stick them in here so that I can carry them all with me um, in this box. And it's actually really sturdy. It's really cute. And uh, I really like it. Next, this was the order from Toby Bits Memory, and it's kind of wonky right now. I mean, I didn't receive it like this. That's just me and the poor um, organization skills I have in this bag right now. Um, but this one were like washi tape, and she puts them on this plastic little, I don't know where she gets this from, but if you get washi samples, um, part pieces of the roll, then she'll put it on something like this. So it'll be easier to remove. And then we have my platinum, uh, which one is this? Uh, Procyon, I think is how you pronounce it. And let me tell you, there is nothing like platinum. <laughs> um, even like all the way down to their very basic inexpensive pens. They have a slip and seal in here that allows the pen to stay wet and stay inked up for, I think, a year. And um, the only thing sometimes is that when you do get their, you know, um, inexpensive pens, the only thing that I find a little annoying is sometimes the rattling, whether it's like the this part or sometimes the um, the converter will rattle because it has like a little ball in there or the cartridge sorry so that's the only thing but yeah I mean they're really solid uh great pens and this is uh part of their more expensive inexpensive line design okay so I also have little stickers that I need to put away in most likely this place. So stickers from Yoseka, um, business card from Sojourner, another another sticker. And oh, I have trash in here. I need to get rid of two. Okay, what else? This is the thin um, insert, kind of like. I want to say, oh, they call it soft goods. And I got this from Bon Kuhen. And it reminds me of the Getty leather just a little bit. This one's a little bit more red than this one. It's not really showing true to color exactly. But I just put, I just toss a lot of stuff in here. Um, little stickers. My, oh, there's my, my writing board for my weeks. Uh, these are some new stickers I got. And I talked about these and one of my recent videos, um, just a note and some more stickers. So this is meant to go in my traveler's notebook insert. It's very thin and well made, um, even down to the stitching at the bottom. So I need to put that in there. I have a traveler's notebook. This is the one I got the Bonkuhin, um, like extra, what do you call it? Truly yours design in there. So I got the stitching for this and I don't even use this. What's crazy. That's like really crazy. I don't use that, but I use this one. So it probably would be something I would consider later on in the next one that I want to get designed. Uh, just know that this painting Thing is not something that Bonkugan offers. You would have to do that yourself. And if you do plan on getting something put on the front and you wanted the paint to be behind it, definitely paint your traveler's notebook first and then send it out to them. Okay, I have a uni ball 
from Hobonichi. I think this is the one from last year. I could be wrong. Then I have my Superior Labor um, pen holder. Um, so I have some of the pens I've talked about and this one was my most recent. It just writes like a dream. And then I have a Franklin Kristoff like hard case, which has a couple more fountain pens in there. I find that this pen pouch is better when it's only folded once rather than folding it a couple times. Unless you have like only three pens in here, then it kind of makes sense. But I feel like it's more secure when I fold it once than when I fold it like three times. This is my only Sky Bambi product from her um, design and uh, it's like the accordion leather accordion and it's gorgeous quite expensive but I think that's just mainly because of the fact that she is a small company and um, she can't really get these mass produced uh, so there's that she has a really lovely logo which is not very impeding in her products, in my opinion. <clears throat> I really like the little lock class thing. And um, there's a lot you could stuff in here. Like this thing is pretty thick. And I have a lot of stickers in here. Just know that if your sticker has a backing that gets sticky and it gets stuck in here in this back pocket, it's going to um, get fuzzy. That's what I found out. So some of my stickers started sticking to this back pocket, which is why I tried to put just like a piece of paper in the back. You'd see that this kind of stuck to it too. This probably came from a sticker sticker sheet. But um, yeah, I really love this thing. And she has so many more new products out and something else releasing. So definitely check out her Instagram. That's where you will stay updated and that's where you will have to um, buy her products from. But all of her products somehow like work together. And so these two pieces actually would connect to her bag. I don't have the bag. Yes, I would like to get the bag one day. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool how she has everything kind of work together. Uh, let me throw that away. And okay, so I have this Hobonichi pouch, which I got this past year at the end of 2021. And this can fit over a lot of things. Actually, it can fit over an A5 notebook. It can fit over your traveler's company notebooks. Um, but it was designed like for any of the Hobonichi products, even like their A6s. And this is really stretchy. And this thing can fit quite a lot. Like, Right now, it's not at capacity. I think I could fit probably three more pens in here. And um, this could, you know, really serve to um, have everything you need. Okay, last, almost last thing. Is that last? Yeah, okay. Last but not least is another sticker book. Ah, all these sticker, all these stickers. Um, so this book is from, oh, what's her, Van Sticky, yes. And um, I thought that this was the cutest image. And so I pretty much filled up this whole thing with some of my old stickers. So yeah, it's, it's filled, I need to use them and I like to haul it around in the event that I might use it. So let's take a look. This thing is empty. The thing I still love about this is that it molds. It has like some type of um, wire that can, you know, close the bag, even though it doesn't have any zipper or closure, but it can kind of help keep all the contents in here together and um, keep it from falling out. And I like how it sits flat because even the bottom kind of has this mold that helps it stay flat and it doesn't really pucker down 
And then another thing I like to do, because I have so many clips, um, I will clip my clips on the edges because it has this firm, solid wire. So they just clip on there really easily and haul that around. So last but not least, let's look at this little pouch here, which I love. This is um, from, I got this one from 21... 20 market 26 26 market I think it's called and they are based in Canada you can fit a lot in this pouch this is I think the medium size um I have MU uh print on stickers it's washi tape my glove and I got this pack of gloves from Amazon I think it came in the pack of four so I have one like in my office I have one in my bag I have one upstairs in my drawer. So anywhere I need to go, I have some one of them somewhere. Washi, or PET tape. This is washi, just little dots. My uh, Platinum 3776. This is in the um, Cherry Blossom. More PET tapes. A new set, this is like a sampler PET tape. PET tape. Um, this was also another sampler PET or of uh, washi tape, but these ones you could take off and uh, they all have different images. Sorry about the noise in the background. Um, I have more PET tapes of the girl. I think I've talked about this before. I think this is the funniest thing. Like whoever thought to put that on a washi tape. It's so, it's so true. I mean, we all use the restroom, right? Um, okay, so more. And I, I love the washi tapes where you can actually peel off. So these um, are just like little washi um just a little sample and they're all different. And then you have a skinny one at the bottom and then a thick one at top, at top, at the top, sorry. I'm trying to talk and think at the same time and remember everything and um, trying to be as clear as possible and it can be a little, my words can get jumbled. So another piece of washi. Okay, what else? Little um, extras that I haven't used yet of a PET tape. And so what I was saying is that usually if I if it gets to this part and I don't use what's left, I will eventually take the time to cut these apart and then put them in my tin cases. Some of my old washi stickers. I have the, uh-oh, okay the glue and i love these glues they have different kinds now where they have the permanent and then like the extra permanent or like the super strength um just some more little ephemera pieces a little um i don't even know what i use this for but i think i had an extra one so i just hauled it around threw it in there Another glove, which I need to put that upstairs. I have a bookmark. Holds your book open. Double-sided tape. Another one of these, um, these really cool hand, I think it's more for decor. Like what is this really going to keep open? It does help with the traveler's notebook, but then it does get in the way because the hands fall over where the clip is. So it's like, how would I clip this? The hands will get in the way. So I use this mainly for decor or, or like as a paperweight. Amazon Basics double-sided sticker tape. A very nice clip, um, pretty flat. So you don't really feel your book like hitting, banging against a table. And I guess that belongs to a mouse somewhere so keep that in there because i'm sure i will come across it and find where it belongs but that's pretty much it i know it looks like a mess but 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you in the next one.